Hey, what's going on? This is Rossi from the Restore Black America Foundation, author of the Restore Black America book. And um, I just wanted to shoot a quick video on um, something that came to mind today. You know, I was listening to a song earlier uh, where the hook talks about smelling like a hundred dollar bill. And it reminded me of a concept that I talked about in the Restore Black America book where I make the comparison between hustling and building an empire. You know, one thing that black people know how to do is hustle. You know, we'll sell you some hair. We'll cut your hair. Uh, we'll do your nails. We'll sell you some weed. We'll fix your car. Uh, as a matter of fact, go post on Facebook right now that you're missing a button on your shirt. I bet you somebody hit you back. You know, I sold buttons on five dollars, right? OK, people will, you know, we'll sell you anything. We know how to hustle things 100 miles an hour. However, the question becomes, can you build something that's sustainable? You see, a lot of times we feel like we're doing something because we have money in our pocket. But the problem is that doesn't usually last. So it keeps you on a treadmill, always chasing the next dollar. You see, if you're going to hustle, your goal should be to hustle to build an asset. So that means that you need to hustle with a plan. So everything you're doing today should be a seed planted for tomorrow. So that way you're hustling to actually build something. And so you're not just spinning your wheels, which essentially becomes a trap. Um, as a matter of fact, what is the slang we use for hustling today in all walks of life? The trap, because that's exactly what it is. That's because you're chasing something instead of building something. Um, as black people, we've got to advance from this mom and pop shopkeeper hustler mentality you know we're in a global economy so we have to start thinking globally you know my thoughts on that are you know buy from your own but sell to everybody you know in order to do this we need actual brands in our community so you know you have to start thinking about systems and structures in your endeavors uh, for example if you're trying to start let's say a clothing line instead of you selling t-shirts on the corner why not come up with the designs and outsource it to a manufacturer who's willing to drop ship it for you so you don't have any upfront costs then set up an e-commerce website and start getting active on social media. Then you can go around promoting in your neighborhood with, let's say, a few hundred or even a few thousand flyers, um, you know, whatever you can afford to drive traffic to your website. Now, you're still out hustling, but you now have a back end operation that's continuously going and can continue to grow into a much larger asset. So now you're starting to build something. So now instead of going around smelling like a hundred dollar bill, you can go around smelling like a million dollars or ten million dollars. Makes sense. So now don't get me wrong. I mean, of course, you do have to know how to do this. I don't want to, um, you know, belittle that point. Um, but that's one of the reasons why here at the Restore Black America Foundation, we've actually put together our own entrepreneur school to where not only where you can come and get the information you need to set up your business, but every single thing that we teach you in class, we're actually going to have you do it right then and there. So that way, by the time you graduate, you actually graduate with a fully functioning business. And that way you can get out of this uh, hustle mode and start building your own empire. So with that being said, uh, please go visit RestoreBlackAmerica.org. You can sign up there as a member. Um, please uh, take a look at the Restore Black America book on Amazon. And with that being said, I'm out. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Rossi Eason, founder of the Restore Black America Foundation and author of the Restore Black America book. And you know how this whole thing came about, man, is real interesting. Years ago, I had a friend of mine introduce me to something called the Willie Lynch letter. And if you don't know what that is, it was actually a transcript of a speech given at a slave owners convention. And it talked about how to control black people, not through force, but through psychology. Talking about putting old against young, light skin against dark skin, male against female. And it pretty much outlines all of the problems that we have today. So when I read this plan and I said, hmm, if this is a plan to destroy black people, if I reverse engineer this, could we create a plan to rebuild the black community? Hence the term restore black America. So this book is actually broken down into a six step action plan that outlines a restoration process for the next 100 years. Those six steps are culture, economics, family, politics, health, and spirituality. And the way the whole premise goes is that this letter was actually written uh, in 1712 and it said that if you actually put this plan in place that you'll be able to control black people for the next 300 years 2012 was actually the end of that 300 year mark when I wrote this book it came out in 2013 which is the first year after that 300 year mark I founded the Restore Black America Foundation 
as a way to actually implement this 100 year plan. Not only to give people the information, but the actual tools in order to make a change. So basically what I've done is put this book together in a 100 year plan for the black community. Restore Black America is more than just a book. It's more than just a foundation. It's an entire movement sweeping across the black community. So be sure to stay tuned for our documentary as we outline the six step action plan for restoring black America and taking our culture back. Holla.